Prologue The Long Search When, in disgrace with fortune and men's eyes, I all alone beweep my outcast state. As he had every night for more than twelve years, Saito Yamagata wearily climbed the winding dark stone stairway to the top of Chota Lamasari's highest tower. He could feel the cold winter wind whipping down from the low entrance to the platform at the top. It was going to be a long, bitterly cold night. No matter. Yamagata was seeking atonement, not comfort. Atonement and something more. Once he had been a giant of global industry. Yamagata Corporation had even reached beyond the earth to build the first solar power satellites. Men trembled at his slightest frown. Fortunes were made when he smiled. Then he had been struck down by an inoperable brain cancer and died. That had been Yamagata's first life. Yamagata's only legitimate son, Nobuhiko, had personally administered the lethal injection that allowed the doctors to pronounce him clinically dead. More carefully than an ancient pharaoh, Yamagata was preserved in a stainless steel sarcophagus filled with liquid nitrogen to await the day when his tumor could be safely removed and he might be brought back to life. By the time he was cured and revived, Nobu was physically the same age as his father. Yamagata burst into laughter when he first saw his son. It was like looking into the mirror when he shaved. With great wisdom, he thought, Yamagata declined to resume his position at the head of the corporation. Nobu had done well, and to demote him now would shame his son intolerably.